team of scientists has observed the activity of nerve cells in a songbird's brain as it is singing a particular song. Deje Jin, an assistant professor in the Department of Physics at Penn State University and one of the study's authors, explained that understanding how birds string together sets of syllables, or notes in a song, may provide some insight into how the human brain learns language and produces speech. Unlike dogs and cats, whose vocalizations are innate and unlearned, songbirds learn a song in much the same way as humans learn a language, through cultural transmission. Jin and his colleagues decided to study exactly what is going on at the level of brain cells in a songbird called the zebra finch. A male bird learns to sing from his father. So he uh, listens to his father's song and faithfully copies what his father sings. So we can hopefully understand the neural mechanism, how they learn and produce uh, complex uh, vocalizations like songs. Both humans and zebra finches arrange sets of learned syllables to communicate. This arrangement of syllables is known as syntax. Although Finch syntax is much less complicated than human syntax, Finch syntax can still provide a model for human speech. The area of the brain responsible for the zebra finch's song production is a particular clump of neurons, which, if absent, renders the bird incapable of singing. To determine exactly how this clump is involved in syntactic production, Jin and his colleagues use special electrodes to monitor the brain cells in this neuronal clump. The electrodes recorded the pattern of neuronal firings that occurred while the finches were repeating a song. The scientists found that when a zebra finch produces its song, a specific set of neurons in this clump fire at precisely the moment when a particular syllable is being sung. In fact, Jin and his colleagues observed a kind of domino or cascade effect. When one syllable was sung, a specific set of neurons in the clump fired which in turn caused the next set of neurons to fire. This ordered firing of specific sets of neurons could be likened to a musical score, with the sequential bursts of brain cell activity representing the sequential notes on the same piece of music. Jin also explained that Darwin's theory of sexual as opposed to natural selection could explain the songbird's musical prowess. Sexual selection is the theory that an animal chooses a member of the opposite sex based on some observable feature that signals good health and superior genes. The classic example is the male peacock's elaborate and calorically expensive tail, which attracts the female peahen. In male songbirds, an elaborate tail has been replaced by an elaborate song. Because a skilled singer will win the attention of more females, he will produce more offspring, thus passing on his musical talent to the next generation. The better birds with a more powerful brain uh, can produce uh, not only a longer sequence, but also very precisely when you're going to sing that uh, syllable. For ScienceCast, I'm Katrina Voss. <laughs>